Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew, aka Fantasy81 here, and I thought I'd do just a quick video to uh, show some of the players I'm picking up in the leagues now, my leagues. Now, these aren't guys that's so like, you gotta run out in a 10 team or get them, but you know, if you're in a deeper league and you need some depth, especially with how weird this fantasy season has been, uh, these are guys you might want to look at. Uh, there are some notable exceptions. I didn't put any of the new closers. Um, there's a lot of closer change these past few days. And then there's guys like Tyler Chatwood that I didn't put that are also worth a look. But these are guys that I've been picking up in my league. So uh, let's get into the first one. So the first guy on this list is Dominic Smith of the Mets. Now, I don't know if you've seen the UNSS, Cespedes news, you probably have. He was reported missing, but then it was actually that he's opting out for the season. And that presents an opportunity for Dominic Smith to take over the DH role. He wasn't getting very many starts before then, but this is a guy that actually had a very solid 2019 season. He had 282 with 11 home runs and 197 plate appearances. And, you know, I don't, this is a guy that was supposed to take over first base before, you know, Pete Alonso was really a thought at that position. And I, he does have a great bat, and if you need a first baseman slash outfielder, Dominic Smith could fill that role. You know, he's going to hit for a little bit of power. He's going to hit for a decent average. Uh, this is a guy I really like a lot. Next up on this list is Kyle Freeland. Now I tried to keep this of guys under 50% owned on fan tracks, and actually when I put Freeland on this list, he was under 50%, but he jumped after his last start, and uh, the numbers speak to why. He's had two very good starts, 1.5 ERA, 9 strikeouts, and 12 innings. Both of his starts, uh, he's gone 6 innings for quality starts, and you know, that's something that's very valuable. Especially, you know, right now where not a lot of starting pitchers are going deep. And, um, you know, Freeland's over 50% owned here, but Fantrax is, you know, typically a higher ownership percentage on players than something like Yahoo. So I still felt like I should mention him. I really like him. He had a great 2018 for the Rockies, you know, one of the best pitching performances uh, over a season by any Rockies pitcher. He went 17 and 7, 2.85 ERA, over 200 innings. You know, and then he had that rough last year, and last year was awful, but he does seem to have figured out some things this year, and very encouraging. He only walked one batter in his last start, so this is a guy I've been adding. He's going to give you some quality innings, you know, mix in some strikeouts. I really like this guy. Next on the list, we have Brian Goodwin of the Angels. Um... He's off to a hot start, and um, this is an Angels lineup that is much improved. Uh, David Fletcher has taken a step up. They obviously signed Rendon. Obviously, you know, when Trout comes back from his kid, you know, that's a pretty scary lineup. And Goodwin has a chance to, you know, rack up those counting stats and still uh, produce a decent average. He actually had 17 home runs and 7 steals last year, so... Not completely, you know, out of the blue that he's producing like this. Um, he's not a guy that's going to hit for a ton of power, but if he can mix in a couple home runs, a couple steals, this is a guy I'm replacing guys on my outfield that are, you know, out with COVID or just don't play because there's, you know, there a lot of teams are sitting people all the time and it's really hard to get that active lineup. So uh, Brian Goodwin, you know, he had, he had a fifth in the lineup yesterday i don't know where he's gonna bat uh when trout plays but uh, i i he has a great chance especially if he keeps producing he's gonna be near in that middle of the lineup so goodwin's a guy i've been adding in a lot of leagues looking at the catch position one guy i'm picking up is tucker barnhart now this isn't because barnhart's you know all that impressive but that reds lineup is impressive and Whoever gets the bulk of the starts there is going to get counting stats. He's going to get RBIs. And, you know, in leagues where, like, say you, I have, Sean, I've had Sean Murphy in a couple leagues and he's just not getting a lot of starts, I'm willing to try out someone like Tucker Barnhart. Now, it remains to be seen who gets the bulk of playing time. Obviously, they have Kirk Casale. Then they have Tyler Stevenson, who they just optioned to their all alternate training site. So, it's not so much that Tucker Barnhart is great, but I want to own the Reds catcher for the counting stats. And, you know, it's a situation to watch to see 
who gets the most playing time. Barnhart, since he came back, has been playing a good amount, so this is a guy I'm picking up in some leagues. Final guy that I've been adding is Chris Bassett. Now he's off to a hot start in Oakland. This is a guy that was competing for the fifth rotation spot coming in, but with the injuries to the rotation, he's definitely cemented his role for this year. And this is a guy who actually had a pretty decent 2019. 10-5, 381 ERA, 144 innings, 141 strikeouts, and a whip under 1.2. This is a guy that's going to help the ratios. He's not necessarily going to be a huge strikeout pitcher, you know, right? He does have 12 strikeouts and 9.2 innings, but he's more of a strikeout per inning guy, but he's definitely going to help those ratios. He is a little bit higher owned, um, like Freeland, than other guys on this list. But, uh, you know, I'm sure that you know, there's a lot of leagues out there where he's on the waiver wire. And if, if you need those ratios, you should take a look at Bassett. So those are the five guys I have. If you uh, want to hit me up on Twitter and tell me why all these guys suck, or if you have any fantasy baseball questions, you can always reach me on Twitter at FantasyAid1. I'm hoping to do this every Monday, you know, as long as the season continues to go on. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you, you all are doing well out there. It's a little bit crazy, but uh, hope you're staying safe, and thanks for watching.